Hello Virgo and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are a Virgo sun, moon, rising Venus, or however Virgo may show up on your astrological natal chart, these messages are for you. And today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what blessings will be coming in your direction or what energy are you attracting here for the month of April. But first, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alexa Tarot, and I am a second-degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. And if you're interested in learning more about me, my credentials, my client testimonials, or anything about me, just look down below in the description box and click on that credentials link. For those of you who are my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. As you know, these are all free channeled messages, and the only thing I ask in return is if you could please give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, so that I know that you are enjoying these free channeled messages. And if you haven't done so already, Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content upload or whenever I'm live on my live stream. All right, Virgo, first thing is first, and I'm going to be using this uh, char uh, bag. It's full of charms, as you can hear. I'm going to pull one charm out to see how that may resonate here as an extra blessing here in your direction this month of April. And you have double hearts. Look at that. So you have a double heart here. What I'm getting here, well, first of all, one heart is larger than the other, okay? So what I'm getting here for you is that there may be, again, this this could be in love, this could be in career, this could be in any um, in any sector. So I'm, I'm going to give you what comes through. If we're looking at this from a love perspective, it's coming across as two people who there may be differences, right? Because there's a larger... Um, heart and a smaller heart. Although there may be differences, what unifies these two people together is love. Now love, it could be romantic love, it could be love of family, friends, loved ones, children, you know, um, you know, love between friends. However, this may resonate for you uh at this moment in time. But I'm getting here even though two people have differences whether that's age differences, whether that's life experience differences, maturity, things of that nature, just differences in general, maybe different belief systems, uh, raised differently, um, you know, political views, or however this may come across. Despite the differences, there's something larger here that unites these two people, and that is love, okay? What I'm also getting here for others of you, if this, if you're looking at this reading or this may resonate in regards to, um, you know, to your career or, you know, well, let's go with career first. If it, if it's, if this is, you know, resonating in regards to career, I feel here that there is the sense of you getting closer. Okay, so you have uh, one of the cards that just popped out. I'm here get, getting this um, energy here of like getting closer or being able to work closely together with other members of the team or staff or clients here and kind of like working collab collaboratively here. I feel here that there may be merger of ideas. Again, two people who, uh, two or more, okay, could be a, a, a group, right? Uh, you know, just people here who think differently, but share the same either goal, they show they share the same vision. And that being here, something very important here in regards to going into a path or getting or hitting that goal. Okay. Now, if we're talking about family, this could mean whatever differences uh, misunderstandings here that they could have been here between two people or one or more people here, right? One person or more people here. But I'm feeling here that whatever this was, it's like uh, bygones be bygones or a clean slate mentality or the sense of no matter how differently we may view something, there's a sense here of respect and of uh, coming together. Okay, so definitely here. Others of you, if you are single, this could mean here there is someone that potentially may come in your direction in regards to either starting off as friends and, and, and something more is developing there. 
if that hasn't happened already, or if you're not already speaking to someone. And for others of you, it's coming across as just two people who may be different, but there is here a commonality and the commonality or the kind of like, um, the tugging of the heart here is that of the spirit. It's like kindred spirit type of energy here as well. So you have here as the blessing that's coming in your direction, it says the one who guides, okay? So there may be here a new path, a discovery here of some sorts, you being guided by your heart or by your intuition, or maybe here being guided by uh, maybe people saying something here in regards to uh, a skill set or something that people see positively within you, okay? I'm getting here like there's a sense of either maturity or an old soul type of energy here. So it's either you may come across someone with more experience or even if the person is younger than you, you it could be someone who's just an old soul who may be sharing here some type of ideas or some type of um, information here. This could also be the other way around. You could be the person sharing some ideas, suggestions, and advice here to someone, and it's and you're coming across as someone who may be knowledgeable in this either situation, circumstance, event, or topic here, okay? It's like you're wise beyond your years, or you're going to uh, share an idea here or some type of wisdom, okay? That's how this is coming across here. I feel for others of you, as I said at the top of the reading, there is this feeling here of renewal. So if there has been a little bit of trouble in paradise for some of you here, the double hearts is showing me here that there's this sense of renewing, renewing a commitment if we're talking about love, renewing a friendship here, letting bygones be bygones, especially if we're talking about, you know, family, social circles things of that nature. For others of you here, I'm getting renewing of a contract, okay? I'm very interested and very specific here. So I'm getting like a renewing of a contract here. So something like a new beginning or starting something new here in regards to um, something that you may be, again, it's coming across as you being knowledgeable or wise about something or making a wise decision here in the month of April. You also have here the page of... Uh, points, which is the page of pentacles here. And that is the solid beginning or the beginning of, or the starting of a solid beginning. Okay. Now, because it is a page and pages like the initiation process or the beginning stages of, I'm getting here that some of you are starting to explore a new beginning or a new set of foundation of something like a renewal, like you're thinking about something or planning on something and you're kind of like thinking about it from the bottom up. Okay. So some of you, it's like restructuring something at the foundation so that it could be built up. Others of you are starting from scratch and that's how this energy is coming across. Others of you here, Remember that I talked about here at the top of the reading, this new path or being guided to this new either path, new journey, uh, you know, new road here. And because here of this page of pentacles, I'm getting here that there could be multiple opportunities, okay, or some opportunities here or an opportunity here that you have had in mind for a very long time or that you've been working towards for a while because pentacles energy is a slow moving energy. So I'm getting here that what you have been manifesting for a while or an opportunity that you've been hoping, wishing, desiring, praying for, or calling into your, um, into your energy can be, uh, kind of like in a way shown to you or can be, be opening up for you here in the month of April. Okay. I feel for some of you, not only because of the pentacles energy, because of the white hair that this person has in this card, there's a feeling of having, having waited for a while or a long time in order to see something either moving along or for you to see the path opening up here in the month of, uh, uh April. For others of you here, I'm getting, uh, again, like working collaboratively or merging here forces, like joining forces with someone who is either your mentor or you're mentoring them, they're mentoring you. There's a sense of like friendship here, kind of helping one another here and something that is a desired goal. 
All right, let's take a look here at what other blessings may potentially be coming in your direction here in the month of April. And you have here the thinking person. Now, the thinking person, I'm not surprised this is here because I was talking about there's the sense of like wisdom or something here. Now, for some of you, it could be that you are experienced in something. And there's the sense of you thinking about the best way to kind of like, you know, make it happen, the best way to uh, build upon it. For others of you, how to you're thinking about how to uh, strengthen the foundation of something. Now, the something could be in love and career, in finances. It could be the family sector. It could be in any area that you feel this may resonate with you. But there is this sense here of you thinking about it. Okay, now, interesting, because this is also coming across as the Hermit in Tarot. Now, granted, this is not a Tarot deck. This is an Oracle deck. But there's a sense of, you know, the Hermit, that soul searching, okay, that thinking, that wisdom that comes from having encountered or having experienced a lesson or a situation, circumstance in the in, a, a situation, circumstance, or event in the past or recent past, or just having an old soul, that type of wisdom here and again it's coming across with this uh thinking person there could be here some type of professional growth here there could be here some emotional growth happening here in the month of uh april there could be here the beginning of a uh you know of a path that is being set here there is a sense here of the exploration stage of something the uh, hard work, the dedication, and the consistency here being thought of or starting to become that of a routine here in the month of April, okay? What I'm also getting here with this card, the thinking person, is that some of you here are, look at this, maybe, re, maybe, and, and I kept saying, like, I don't know why, for some of you, this is career, career related. Um, for others of you, it's just, just your life purpose. There's a sense here of you finally figuring something out, okay, through thinking, clear thinking, to be quite honest with you, because you do have there the clear quartz, okay? So if you are doing anything having to do with manifestation here, you do have two cards that have clear crystals coming through, okay? This one also in the, the, the headpiece here, diamonds or what looks like diamonds or, or clear quartz here. So that could be here, that type of, uh, um, you know, energy here or advice here for you to use if you are, if you are a type of person who uses crystals and manifestation. Okay. The last but not least, pages also having to do with messages. So for some of you here, there may be some type of uh, good news or messages, whether it's a text, whether it's an email, whether it's a phone call, whether it's a letter here. Um, you know, having to do with some type of opportunity, okay? So for some of you here, you may be getting that type of, uh, you know, message here uh, in uh, in the month of April. That being said, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.